Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video today. We've got Galactus event spoilers at the end of the video. Don't worry, I'll warn you. So stick around. We've got news on The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson doing a collaboration with Fortnite. Uh, an update on the subscription pack and Galactus skin and a bunch more. There's a lot of stuff today. Stick around for the entire video. You won't want to miss it. Touch that like button for me. Boom. You know the deal. I show you a picture of a cute Cute animal, otter, dog, cat, we don't care. Just something cute and you hit the like button. Easy as that. Rush hats, they drop tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. Apparently some of you guys liked them based on the comments. You fired me up yesterday. I was I was scrolling, you know where I was scrolling, where every man scrolls. Extremely hyped, extremely nervous. Uh, I hope to see some of you guys rocking these things. I'm rocking the dad cap today. Galactus update, enjoy. Here's where he's at on the map. He's getting bigger and bigger. We're getting closer and closer. Tuesday, December 4th, you know it, December 1st, sorry, I take that back, 4 p.m. Eastern on December 1st, uh, we'll be live streaming here on the channel, make sure you tune in, we'll get on early, uh, and uh, it's just going to be a blast, man, it's going to be so much fun, and also, due to an issue, the XP Extravaganza Week 4 Challenge, deliver a semi-truck from outside upstate New York to Stark Industries, can only be completed in Team Rumble, we'll provide an update when we have more info. Uh, and, and now they've auto-completed part one of this uh, extravaganza challenge for all players. Uh, so basically it's fixed. If you saw those auto-completed, that's why. Thought that was worth showing. Fire Monkey, well, Fortnite today, Devour of Worlds official video teaser. They dropped a video teaser with some audio. Here we go. The music, the cinematic music to hype us up. Now, I think we've actually played this audio already in a previous video. Uh, we, we, I think it's part of the countdown audio. The audio we'll hear in the last two and a half minutes. So, I mean, yeah, this is hi hi the teaser's hype, but uh, if you're a fan of the channel, we've already had that teaser a couple weeks back or a week back. Uh, I, I'm just a little bit of a humble brag, humble flex. I know, I know. I got to keep you guys around. I got to remind you why you're here, right? Fortnite will have a Cyber Monday sale this year. Uh, we don't know what it'll be. Could be some bundles, just a bunch of different price slashing. We'll see. It, of course, it is Black Friday uh, today too. So by the time you're watching this video, you, you may see some deals in the item shop when it drops tonight. Uh, code the Camp and Rusher if you want, or type somebody in there. Right? Don't let it go to waste. Although if you type the code in now, you're definitely using it for the battle pass. Right? It's resets every two weeks. Thanks to everyone using my code. This is how Galactus is going to look like as a skin. This is a couple days ago, but I didn't have a, a spot to put it in. So here it is. It's not confirmed yet whether the skin is going to be obtainable, but keep in mind that a set for the Galactus skin was added to the files three patches ago. We, we, we thought there's going to be a Galactus skin this entire time uh, based on this uh, you know, set being added to the files a while ago, right? Uh, I, I assume they're selling it uh, either during the event i'd say after the event once the event drops but then we have downtime i don't know where they're going to put this thing in i guess we'll have to find out and i guess it depends what happens with the event uh if they're going to be using them or not who knows i uh i of course i think a lot of us would buy it so i would be surprised if uh if if, if this thing didn't show up in the shop Apparently, I just, I just saw a tweet on my phone. The icon skins will be in tonight's item shop, all right? I don't even know if I have a photo on your screen because I uh, literally just saw it on the phone. So uh, we'll add that to the news today. Uh, if, if, if you missed out on some of the icon series, you can, you can grab it tonight. Fortnite crew, monthly subscription. Just one thing I wanted to add to it. Remember, it does launch with season five, 1,000 V-Bucks each month, eleven ninety nine dollars a month, current season battle pass, and exclusive monthly outfits, all right? If you already own or purchase the battle pass like say you say say it was out now you have the battle pass you bought it and then you get the subscription feature you'll get 950 v bucks if you own the current battle pass of the season uh so i love that they do that making the subscription feature even better and purchasable at all times right evening it out uh, it's not more advantageous to buy it at, at one point compared to another I love this, man. I, I'm picking it up as soon as Season 5 starts. I, I think they did a great job with this, uh, as I've said repeatedly. PSA, public service announcement, if you didn't know. Earlier today, a method, method was published that shows you how to buy the annual pass through the API of the game. If you're planning to buy it, 
It's not worth it. Epic Games said the people who buy it will have a bad time afterwards, indicating that they will ban your account. Uh, so again, yeah, annual pass was that yearly, uh, I think, subscription. I don't know if it, you call it a subscription, but yearly thing where you get all the battle passes, exclusive packs. We now know that the monthly pack replaces the annual pass, and it's a much better model. It really is. I'm glad it's replaced, but uh, apparently you can get this thing still. It's just not worth it. You're going to get banned. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on. I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more things over the weekend. That's my job. Keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. You just got to get here, right? You just got to get here. I'll do the rest. Next up here, Donald Mustard has already changed his banner from yesterday, the RIP Tilted, to this photo of Galactus. And his location is now the zero point. All right, I think it went from heli carrier to modified battle bus to zero point. So of course, of course, the zero point is going to play a big part in this event. Uh, we know that. We we think it's right underneath or around risky reels. That seems to be the the agreed upon theory right now, and we think that's where the event's going down uh, around Starkish too, maybe uh, instead of that bunker. The bunker was the the thought at the start of the season, but. Not anymore. It looks like we're going the, the risky direction. Still waiting to figure that out, but uh, yeah, 99% sure on that. Also, a tweet from the Brandalorian. Why does the rock float look like a Fortnite skin of the rock? And Joshua Ehrenberg, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Dwayne, way ahead of you, BD. Great minds. Cheers. <laughs> So Dwayne basically said he is he's on him about getting the Fortnite rock skin. And I mean, why not? Why the heck not at this point? Who doesn't want to collab with Fortnite? And, and as players, I don't mind. I mean, some of you might mind it, but I don't mind it, right? As long as it's uh, as they keep it fun and actually focus on uh, important stuff too. Have as many collaborations as you want. It's just more content for us and uh, and keeps the the game feeling fresh as per usual. So I love this. I mean, I, I, I think most people are, are rock fans. He uh, <laughs> just a hell, he's just a huge name, obviously one of the biggest. From Reddit, before we go into the event spoilers here, concept of what I think a legacy for next season will be, skin spoiler. Uh, so of course we know next season is Mandalorian and man, you know, this is the way is the, uh, the trademark quote from the show. Uh, Baby Yoda's here next season. And this is, I think we know there's going to be a legacy. Uh, this is the way, right? This, <laughs> this exact thing might happen. Whether it's one of solo matches, the Mandalorian during season five or, or something uh, completely different, there's going to be a legacy like this. So I thought it was worth pointing out. Take your guesses in the comment section below. What, what could it be? We know it's going to be there, but what are you going to have to do to grab it? All right, this is your official warning event spoilers it's not video or anything just uh some some things that hint at uh scenarios that will occur during the event all right what a fun time i'm sure most of you stick around but just just in case right just in case assets for water splashes during the mecca event were added back in 14.6 next up some files for the lights coming out of pressure plant during the mecca event were added back into the files in 14.6 and then an effect used for the monster's yellow energy beam was added back into the files, 14.6. Uh, so, it, it, I mean, we, we've talked about leaks like this already, where there's different meshes from all the different events that have been loaded in. To me, this is going to be one massive event collaboration. I don't know if it's going to rewind it all somehow. I don't know if glimpses of it are going to come up in, in the... I don't know, in the in the distance. I, I'm not too sure, but I think somehow it's gonna tie into everything, tie into all the old stuff. Uh, and, and, I, and I don't think that's a far-fetched theory, right? I think a lot of people are thinking that. And just based on the amount of meshes, like these are three of maybe the 10 we've talked about in the past. Uh, and there, you know, there's some that relate to the uh, unvaulting event and then the fight event, Mechaverse Monster. Uh, it's just everything. So. Let me know your thoughts, final, not final theories, but we're getting closer and closer. We can only theorize so much and then we're out of time and then the thing actually happens. So might as well enjoy the theorizing portion, right? I, I enjoy the hype moments. I, you know, obviously I'm a Fortnite news guy, but I'll just personally, I enjoy uh, the before the event 
And then I just can't wait to see what they have in store. That's all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, touch that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Cold the Camp and Rusher. Merch drop tomorrow. I want to see the boys rocking this thing. Dad cap or the uh, trucker hat. I'll remind you guys tomorrow. Post some sexy Instagram photos, whatever it is. But uh, let's do it. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.